plants are exposed to pathogens in their natural environment and they sometimes get leaf damage. Uh, they can also be exposed to too much sunlight and sunburn a leaf or shipped in a box that gets hot and damage a leaf. It's best if that damage is significant to remove the leaf. Why? Because leaving it on is number one unsightly, but it also leads to a source of infection of a secondary disease. What we're looking at here is a cattleya that was most likely damaged in uh, transit and cooked this leaf. We're going to take this leaf off today. If this were a fungal disease, there would be a yellow band along underneath the black portion or brown portion, and you'd want to cut well into the green, removing all of that yellow band. In this case, there isn't such a band, and this is a fairly easy cut to make. Always use sterile tools. When you cut off leaves, you can use single-edge razor blades. They work very, very well for single use. Do not attempt to cut a rhizome in, a, in something like a cattleya with a razor blade. It's a great way to cut, severely cut your fingers. So we're going to remove this leaf with a single-use sterile razor blade. Get it open. Okay. We're going to remove this leaf cutting well into the green. and remove all of that damaged portion. Now, we don't want to put this back into the growing area and have that leaf exposed because you may get a fungal or bacterial infection in that cut. So we're going to treat that with a little bit of a paste made from a good fungicide. In this case, I'm using thymol. Works very well for our purpose. We take a little bit of thymol, put it in water, Stir that up and form a fairly thick paste-like solution. And then just coat the cut surface of the leaf. That will dry, that will seal off that surface, and it will help to prevent any fungus spores that might land on that surface from germinating and entering the plant. This is now ready to go back into the growing environment.